praised be the name of jesus dear friends jesus calls us personally to experience him follow his ways leaving aside our ways to continue his mission to proclaim the good news sun tzu a chinese military general a strategist a philosopher and a writer who lived around 500 bc in his book art of war taught his armies to burn their boats and to destroy their bridges behind them as they advanced into a new territory later alexander the great burned his boats upon arrival on the shores of persia by burning his boats alexander committed his men to victory over the persians who greatly outnumbered the macedonians alexander's decision is considered to be a master decision as the decision to destroy their own boats their own only hope of retreat was extraordinary again in 1519 the spanish captain hernan cortes when he landed on the shores of mexico he gave them the order burn your boats when you ignite the boats you are igniting the desire of everyone not just to survive but to succeed by removing any available path back to the status quo your team will become as fully committed as you are the famous business guru and writer tom peters believes in this strategy of burning the boats and he suggests that companies should appoint a cdo chief destructive officer to follow through on executing the change or transformation strategy the strategy of burning the boards is all about commitment it's all about setting out on a new frontier with a total commitment in the gospel according to saint john chapter 1 verse 35 and the following john the baptist points out to his disciples that the one who is passing by is the lamb of god two of john's disciples follow jesus jesus turns and asks them what they are seeking somewhat confused they ask jesus where he is staying jesus does not answer them instead he invites them to come and see jesus call to the disciples is an invitation to experience a new life it was a call to leave their boards and to enter into a new experience with jesus to partake of his life and mission the catechism of the catholic church says Each one of us is called personally by God to stay with Jesus to follow his way and to continue his mission of spreading the good news. We can speak of this call and this new life in three different stages. First like the disciples we respond to the testimony given by others then having seen where Jesus dwells having experienced to him we move to a commitment which is based on our own experience of the risen lord finally our conversion is completed when we become witnesses for jesus in the case of andrew his conversion reveals his belief in jesus as the messiah he then brings his brother peter to christ jesus looks at simon and says you are simon son of john you were to be called kephas or peter kephas is the aramaic word for rock while the greek word for rock is petros this kind of name change has precedence in the old testament such name changes indicate the beginning of a new life a new purpose a new relationship with god we can say that the first disciples burned their boats to set out on a new mission with Jesus Simon's new life in Christ is symbolized by his new name the new name that Jesus gave him was Peter in the first book of Samuel the first chapter describes how Samuel was born to a long barren couple by divine intervention they dedicated him in his early childhood to God's service in the temple of Shiloh He was a disciple of priest Eli. The boy's duty was to be present during the night 
near the ark of God. In the first book of Samuel, chapter 3, verses 3 onwards, we read about the call of Samuel. God called Samuel one night, and Samuel thought it was his master Eli. Twice God called, twice Samuel went to Eli, and twice Eli told him to go back to sleep. The third time God called, and Samuel went to Eli. The old priest realized what was going on, and he told Samuel, Go, lie down, and if he calls you again, you shall say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. The threefold repetition of God's call is an indication that it was not a mere hallucination, but a genuine experience of God. The response was typical for a true disciple who is ready to burn his boats. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. A person who is willing to give up his plans to carry out the Lord's wishes will be able to hear God calling even in the middle of a silent night. The fact that God called Samuel and not Eli and raised him to the ranks of Moses and David teaches us an important lesson that God often calls ordinary people, including the young, to serve within the community. Just as God called Samuel and Jesus called his apostles, the Corinthian Christians were also called to, be, to lead a life of holiness. This is the exhortation given by St. Paul in his letter to the Corinthians. Paul reminds us that our bodies are members of Christ by baptism. And so, whoever is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. In the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 19, we read, Do you not know that your body is the temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? Because God's Spirit dwells in us, we have become temples of God, and consequently, our bodies are sacred. This is truly a call to burn the bonds, to burn your desires so that God's desires will take fruit in us. May we be able to find and grow in faith in Jesus through our grace-assisted lifelong seeking of God's will. Let us seek Him in each other, in the local Christian community, in the church, in the scriptures, in the sacraments, and particularly in the Eucharist. Once we encounter him and we experience him, we will be able to burn our boards so that we will always remain close to him as good disciples of the Lord. Let us proclaim with the psalmist, See, I have come to do your will. Amen.